Hey, Josh over here from Making Bank. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today's next guest is going to really throw some pretty cool insights and stuff. If <laughs> He's talking about how you be can become your own banker, the infinite banking system, lots of amazing ideas for you to start placing your money in different areas that's actually going to work for you, that's actually going to grow and then give you access to it without any cost to you. So uh, check out my next guest, Brent Kessler. He's going to talk about the money method. It's based on the infant banking. So check out Making Bank today. Hey guys, also too, if you ever thought about grabbing some amazing gear, check out gratitudegear.com. Super cool. Love their hoodies, super soft t-shirts, whatever that may be. And it, it, whatever you want, gratitude quotes, freedom gear, uh, truth, whatever that is, go check out gratitudegear.com and grab yours today. Use the code making bank. 10 making bank and the number 10 for a 10% discount. This is not just a regular whole life policy that you can go and buy from your brother in law that sells life insurance, right? Because we all have a brother in law that sells right. life insurance. Somebody does. <laughs> this is a specifically designed, specially engineered whole life policy, and it has to be in a mutual company and it has to be a policy that's dividend. Pain, which means it pays dividends. Next up, representing Primal Life Organics, Josh Making Bank Felber. Welcome to Making Bank. I am Josh Felber, where we uncover the mindset and the success strategies of the top 1% so you can amplify your life and your business today. Super excited for today's guest. Brent Kessler was a chiropractor and chiropractic coach for over 14 years. And after implementing the money multiplier method, Brent paid off $984,000 in third-party debt in 39 months. In fact, he became so passionate about how powerful this concept was, he wanted to start sharing it with others. For the last 10 years, Brent has been lecturing to thousands of people around the country on the dynamics of the TMM method and helping individuals break the bonds of financial slavery that they don't even realize they are in. He teaches how to take back control of your financial life. Brent has a passionate belief that whether you make $10 an hour or $10,000 an hour, you should know the TMM method and have this powerful information to keep control of your own money. I'm excited to welcome Brent Kessler to Making Bank today. Hey, Josh. Thanks for having me. I'm grateful to be here and being able to share for just a few minutes to all your listeners. Yeah, definitely. Excited to have you and uh, super cool to understand what you got going on and you know how we can help share the TMM method and what people can take from that and start applying themselves. But before we jump into all that, give us a quick little insight of your background, how you got started as an entrepreneur slash chiropractor, because chiropractors are always end up having to be entrepreneurs at some point and run their business and grow it and everything else. So kind of give us that little bit of insight. Yeah, absolutely right. You know, just, uh, and again, Josh, as you said, I am a chiropractor. I own five chiropractic clinics in the Kansas City area. So anyway, I sold my last clinic in 2017. I have not practiced myself since 2008. This concept called the infinite banking concept, as you stated, I've been teaching that for the last 10 years. But yeah, so like originally, you know, when I got into the chiropractic business, obviously you have all of those responsibilities as a business owner. And, you know, a lot of docs that come out of school, they think just because you went through chiropractic school and you got a doctor behind your name, you got all these patients that are going to start running in <laughs> your office. Well, that just doesn't happen. You know, just because right. you put a name on the door and you open up the doors, it doesn't mean they come running in. So again, I had to learn kind of the hard way from that, that, Hey man, I need to get out here and grind and, you know, just, and basically hit the pavement in order to get patients to come in the door. Well, I did that, you know, for uh, quite a few years. And then I discovered just this other concept because I, okay, because the thing is, I found myself, you know, quite a bit amount in debt. And as you said, 
it was actually $984,711. That was my debt back in, um, in a 2008. And I was at a conference and I heard somebody speak on this topic called the infinite banking concept. Now, again, I don't know, possibly a few of your listeners may have heard about it, but it's kind of driven by a guy named R. Nelson Nash. He wrote this book here called Becoming Your Own Banker. And that Hmm. book completely changed my financial life. As a matter of fact, Josh, I was at a chiropractic conference back in 2006, and I heard somebody speak on this concept, and I heard it, I listened, and I was like, man, that sounds really, really good, but it just sounds good. It sounds too good to be true. And I'm sure you've seen things like that, right? Where you sure. see it looks good, but it seems too good to be true. Well, that was me in 2006. But then just to kind of fast forward, okay, so in 2008, I started implementing this concept in my own life, and I was able to pay that debt off almost a million dollars of debt in 30 nine months, three years, three months. I didn't have to work harder, change my cash flow, take any additional risk or lose control. All I did is I added one step in my financial life. And because it worked so well for me, I had to start sharing it with others. Now, again, the concept is not right. I mean, it's not something like an MLM or a network marketing. There's nothing like that whatsoever. It's just that I learned this concept And I had to share it with other people. And I became so passionate about it. And then back in March of 2012, just a little over 10 years ago, I started teaching this. So now I travel around the country. And um, again, I'm on live stages all around the country. I do a lot of Zoom and a lot of virtual, especially like when the pandemic hit, all the live events went to Zoom and virtual, things like that. But now the live events are starting, you know, to open up. So now I just eat, live and breathe this stuff. And this is the concept that I teach other people. I teach you how to build, keep and create wealth through your own debts and expenses that you already have. And all by just adding one step in your financial life, not by changing anything, just by adding one additional step. And when you add that one step, it drastically changes your financial life. Yeah, no, that's that's super interesting. So, I mean, obviously, a lot of people must not know about it. I've never, you know, heard of it. I know I've like tried to figure out and explore that topic. I go, oh, you know, being a banker, you know, obviously they, you know, loan money out and make money on that side, and you know, issue credit cards, all kinds of things. So, kind of, what is the whole concept, and uh, kind of, if you can give us a little detail on what it is and how it works. Yeah, exactly. Just to give you the 20,000 foot view of it, Mm -hmm. the concept, the infinite banking concept, in other words, becoming your own banker, that concept has been around for over 200 plus years. It's been used by the, it's been used by like the wealthy, the Rockefellers, the Morgans, the Stanleys, the Barclays. It's how Walt Disney built Disneyland. It's how Ray Kroc funded McDonald's. It's how Pampered Chef got started before Warren Buffett bought Pampered Chef. So the whole idea around the concept, Josh, is that that the thing you're going to do is you are going to purchase a whole life insurance policy in a mutual company that pays dividends. Now, I know I just turned a lot of listeners off when I said that right there, a whole life policy, because people in their mind... They actually think they know everything there is to know about whole life insurance. And that just simply is not the truth. It's not the fact, because if they did, they would be implementing this concept. Now, Josh, keep in mind, this is not just a regular whole life policy that you can go and buy from your brother-in-law that sells life insurance, right? Because we all have a brother-in-law that sells life insurance. Somebody does. (laughs) This is a specifically designed specially engineered whole life policy and it has to be in a mutual company and it has to be a policy that's dividend paying which means it pays Mm. dividends and it doesn't just pay dividends one year it pays dividends consistently year after year but the main bread and butter of this josh is how the policy is designed 
It has to be designed where you have high immediate cash value to use from that policy once you start it. And the definition of immediate is within 30 days. So in other words, if I put premium dollars into a policy, Josh, I immediately within 30 days have the cash to use in that policy to go pay my debts, my expenses, um, or to go buy property, to do investments, college education, to pay your taxes, your charitable giving, whatever it is that you want to do, you have that cash immediately and immediately is within 30 days. And the reason people haven't heard about this is because it is not good for the life insurance agent or the producer such as myself to really promote this because we have to take a 60 to a 90%, 60 to 90, 60 to 90% cut in our commission in order to design this product. So that's why most agents will never talk to you about it is because they are not willing to take that hit in their commission. You know, that's interesting. And so, and like, what kind of money do you have to have to be able to put into that? With, you know, if I take $100,000, is that something I could start with and open one up? Any amount, any amount, Josh, that you want. We have clients that put in $100 a month into their policy. And I think our largest client puts in $540,000 a month. So you pick a number in between there, whatever number that you want to put in. The policy is going to work the same way. The growth inside of the policy, it's all guaranteed growth, right? It's all guaranteed. It doesn't matter what's going on in the external world. It doesn't matter if the stock market is up or down, the housing market is up or down. It doesn't matter if there's inflation or no inflation, a pandemic, no pandemic, protest or riots. It doesn't matter if you love Trump or hate Trump, you know, a Republican or Democrat, all of that stuff doesn't matter, right? There's a guaranteed growth inside of the policy. It's not me telling you, it's in your policy contract. So before you ever sign, pay, and accept the policy, you will see all those numbers. But the amount that you put in is totally up to you. I have over 6,200 clients, Josh, that I work with in every state of the country. I never, ever tell you how much to put into the policy. You tell me the amount you want to put in, whether it's monthly, quarterly, twice a year, annually. You tell me the amount, and I design the policy, okay, to where it's going to be most efficient and effective for that high cash value, immediate use within 30 days. Okay, so let's just say, keep all the numbers even, say we're putting 10000 a month, so 120000 a year. Yeah. Like what kind, I, I guess, how much is available in the 30 days, and then what kind of returns are we getting on that? Well, the policy has a guaranteed growth rate inside of the policy. So it's in the, the contract, but typically all of the policies are paying anywhere between 47 to 6.2% percent as a tax-free growth because of the dividend that goes along. Now the dividends can fluctuate, Josh, which means which means one company may have a higher dividend this year and they may have a lower dividend next year. But all of the companies are really really consistent in as far as what they are doing each and every year. It's just some may vary higher and lower, but you will see all of those numbers, okay, depending on what you put into the policy and and how that growth works. And also the key thing to remember, Josh, is whenever we put money into the policy and we take money out of the policy, the way we take it out is in the form of a policy loan. So it's not mm-hmm. a withdrawal, it's a policy loan, which is a great thing because here's what we do. When we borrow the money, the money that we're borrowing is not our money. No. The, okay, all the money that we borrow is a loan from the general fund of the insurance company. So all of our money that we put into the policy is continuing to compound and grow uninterrupted compound interest, even though we're using our own money. Now, 
the insurance company can never lose and and the loan is never required to be paid back. You don't have to pay back the policy loan. And the reason the insurance company doesn't require that is because the death benefit on the policy will always be greater than the cash value or the loan available that you pull out of the policy. And you are guaranteed to die past graduate, whatever word you like to use. It's not an if, it's a when. So at the right. time of your death, what happens, Josh, is that death benefit will pay off any outstanding policy loans because they've already because all that money has been distributed to you while you're living and the additional money goes to your beneficiaries tax free. Hmm. Interesting. And so say you had a I don't know, a five million dollar death policy and you were gonna pay the whatever it is, the hundred to ten thousand a month, so hundred and twenty thousand a year. So then how long are you paying into that? And then like what is kind of like how much are you able to take out of it and everything? I guess what's all those numbers kind of roughly look like? Yeah, well, the choice is how long you pay into it is up to you. But let me tell you this. I've never had somebody that's been with me for two years or longer that has ever quit paying premium into their whole life policy in a mutual company design for this concept. Because every payment you make, right, it's kind of like a deposit. You have to think of it mm. as a deposit going into an account that you control, and those numbers continue to increase each and every year. Like, I'll give you an example. My oldest policy, I started in February 2008. Well, every dollar that I put into that policy this past February, it gave me $2.16 to use. So that means I put in a dollar, I get to use two sixteen. Now, last year, I put in a dollar, it was two oh nine, So it was a lower number. Next year, right. it'll be higher because the policy is older and more efficient. So gotcha. again, the numbers continue to go up. Now, th to answer your question on how much can you borrow immediately, it depends on how the policy is designed. But that number can range anywhere from 55 cents for every dollar immediately, meaning when you first put it in, like, for example, you put in a dollar, you can borrow like 55 cents. It could go all the way up to 92 cents um, where you put in a dollar, you can immediately borrow 92. Now, there's some pros and cons of how we design the policy and what might be best for you in your situation. For example, if I have somebody that's really looking for the long term growth, then what they're going to do is put in a dollar and they're going to borrow closer to the 55 or 60 cents immediately. If I have, for example, real estate investors and they got to constantly turn that money fast and fast, now you're going to put in a dollar and you might get 90 to 92 cents immediately. So depending on the situation and your circumstances and how we design the policy will, okay, will determine the amount that you can get out. So just know that if you take more out immediately, the policy does not perform as well long term, right? So there's pros and cons to doing it each way. There's not gotcha. a right or wrong answer to doing it each way. But the most important thing is, is that money is your money. It's going in the policy with after tax dollars and all the growth inside of the policy is growing tax free. And the government is completely out of your hair. Now, I'll just give you one more tidbit. Sure. Um, again, so I have a full presentation where I explain how this works, okay? Like if you go to my website, www.themoneymultiplier.com, so it's it's the, T-H-E, themoneymultiplier.com, I have a full recorded hour and a half plus presentation that breaks down the concept. It's also broken into 10 sections. I also wrote a book, Josh, me and a colleague of mine, Chris Noggle, uh, and again, so like a lot of people may know who Chris Noggle is. I definitely suggest you have him on your podcast. Very, he's he's sure. extremely high level into the real estate world. He's had a couple shows, House Hunters, HGTV. But anyway, Chris and I wrote this book called Mapping Out the Millionaire Mystery. And again, I'll okay. So I'm happy to send the version, the e version, or the digital copy of my ebook to anybody that emails me to brent 
B-R-E-N-T, Brent, at themoneymultiplier.com, and it'll go into more explanation of this concept and how it works. No, that's awesome. Guys, I hope you guys are really listening to what Brent's talking about today. He's dropped some amazing different insights on opportunities that you can take as you're growing your business and you're trying to think, man, where can I put some money? Where can I start to build wealth at? And um, as he calls it, you know, you're starting to become your own banker, as well as you can check out a full presentation of the money multiplier method and actually the all the ins and outs, how it works, how it can apply to you and everything else. So make sure you guys are listening, taking notes. He dropped tons of amazing insight in 15 minutes. <laughs> Blow your mind there. So slow it back down, watch it, listen to it again, take those notes, and then go check out his link, the money, the money multiplier method, and watch the full presentation video of how it's going to apply to you and all the super inside details um, and how it all works and everything. So one last thing before we wrap up, um, what's something that you're like, oh man, I really wanted to make sure I squeeze this in in the last couple seconds that you want to let our audience know, Brent? Yeah, well, again, Josh, the, so the thing about this concept, it's not about you talking to me and, and, and about as far as you buying a policy. I will never ask you to buy a policy. I'm going to share with you the method and the concept that the rich and the wealthy and the elite have been using for over a couple hundred years, right? I'm just giving you the tools that the wealthy has used. Now, hopefully if you do it, you do it with me because see, I don't charge you anything to do this. I get paid mm. the same way your car insurance guy or gal gets paid. I am the life insurance agent. I'm licensed in every state of the country. So for example, when you go buy car insurance, Okay, and, and, and for example, you go buy car insurance from John Smith, the Allstate man. Well, the check that you write is not to John Smith. You write it to Allstate, and Allstate writes John Smith a check for commission. So that's how I get paid, is I get paid a commission on your policy. So I'm going to teach you and educate you, and I'm going to design your policy exactly the way my 24 policies are designed, the way I've designed policies for over 6,000 people in every state of the country. So the thing I would say is go Google my name. Go put in my name, Brent Kessler, K-E-S-L-A-R with one S. Go look at the success stories, the plan designs, the case studies, the testimonials. Go to the website, themoneymultiplier.com. Go ahead and shoot me an email, brent at themoneymultiplier.com. I will send you the ebook. I'll send you the full recorded presentation. There's nothing that I hide. I open up Everything to you that I'm doing in my financial life, I share with you guys. So, and hopefully, if I can be a part of your financial future and helping you to build, keep, and create wealth, to recapture and recycle all the money that's been leaving your family, and hopefully, if I can play, you know, one step up to the ladder of top to financial success, that's all I am. I'm just one rung on this ladder. So, again, I'm here to serve you and your people, Josh. Excellent. I appreciate your time today, Brent. Uh, again, thanks for coming on Making Bank. Guys, get out. Be extraordinary. You were watching Making Bank today. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Josh.